Welcome back to Advent of BIM 2025. This is day 18 and today we're going to talk about registers. We got a little glimpse of it in the last episode when we talked about macros. And to give you a quick overview about what registers are, you can think of them as multiple clipboards that BIM manages. But before looking deeper into them, let's give a special shout out again to my YouTube channel members, to the super chatters and thankers, and of course the GitHub sponsors. Thank you all so much. Hi, my name is Marco. Let's get started. So we're inside this gift list file here and let's say we wanted to duplicate the first line. So to yank a line, you probably already know this, but you can press double Y and you yank the complete line here. Now, if we wanted to add it to the end of this list here, we press P and then the line appears there again. But where did this line actually come from? So we can get a list of the registers with the rec or registers command. So rec is just the shorthand for that. And we can see we get this list here with the name of the register and well, the name of a few registers here we can see there and the content of the registers and the type of the registers. This line with a teddy bear is stored in the first register here. This is called the unnamed register. Every name starts with a double quotation mark and the unnamed register just has the double quotation marks as a name again. Now let me talk to you about a little problem you might run into. Let's say you wanted to duplicate uh, line 10 here with a book set. So you copied it again and then you see, oh, this line here down there, I didn't want to have it here. So let's just delete it with double D that deletes the whole line. And then you use P again to paste the book set line that you just copied, right? And you see, whoa, what just happened there? I didn't copy that, but I pasted the teddy bear line again. What happened? So let's actually look again at the registers and you see a few more registers here now. Still, the first register still holds the teddy bear line. Why? Well, it turns out that the first register in this list, the unnamed register, doesn't only hold the last yank you did, so the last copy, but it also holds the last delete. So it actually holds the last thing you yanked or deleted. So our yank got overwritten here because we deleted the other line. Good to know that you have this register named zero which only holds the last yanked thing. So this still holds our line that we actually copied, the book set line. So what we could do now, press enter, and if we wanted to paste the line we actually copied before, we can target the specific register we want to use for the paste. You can do that by pressing the quotation marks and the name of the register, so in this case zero, and then I press P. And now you see, we just pasted the thing that was in the register zero, which was the book set line we just copied. This little thing trips up a lot of people in the beginning. So be mindful of that. Now let's open up another file here. Let's go to the workshop inventory. And here I want to show you something else. Now in this workshop inventory, I want to show you how you can target specific registers. So you can target A through Z specifically. So if you want to collect a few different items here, maybe. So let's say, I don't know, Let's grab this line here. We want to keep track of this. And now before we yank this, we actually target the register A. Again, just like we targeted it before for the paste command, we can target it before the yank command as well. So double quotation marks A and then the double yank, double Y to yank the line. So we had, have this in our register A now. We can also see this. We list this out. You see this register A here appeared with the red wrapping paper thing we just collected here. The unnamed register still also holds this because the last yank, even though we just targeted another register here, gets also put into the unnamed register. But let's go on. Let's say we also wanted to do the gold ribbon line here, target a specific register like register B, yank this into there. And let's, let's go down here and grab the building blocks thing here as well into register C. So now we go down here and say we wanted to paste them all in here into the quality control section. So we can target the registers again to specifically paste from them. So let's say we wanted to add this here in the reverse order. We copied it. Let's target register C first, put it here, register B and then put it here and then register A and put it here. Now we just add all these items we had in the registers here and could minimize jumping around in the file a little bit. And if you look at the registers again, they still are inside these registers until we overwrite them. So we can have them handy for later purposes as well. So if we wanted to add this to another section, let's, let's say we worked here and uh, quality control is done or whatever use case you can think of. And now we just wanted to put what's in register B again here so we can target this again and put this at the end of the file here. So maybe you can think of how you would use this in your workflow. If you have any good examples, please post them in the comments. 
So in our last use case, we could have also used a little bit of another workflow to achieve the same thing or a very similar thing. Let's say we just wanted to collect a bunch of lines and paste the thing in the order we just paid, we just copied it to another place somewhere else. So let's use register D to demonstrate this. So we're going to target register D and add this line here, for example, like the last line. And let's see if this worked here in register D. Now we have the gold ribbon line here and you also see this control thing at the end. That's basically the new line. Now let's say we wanted to add two more lines from somewhere else and paste the whole block of lines in one block to another place. So instead of targeting different registers for that, let's use the line here before we could append to the register we just used. So we used register D for the last thing and to append stuff in a register, you can use the capital letter for that. Let's target D again, but with a capital D this time. So quotation marks, capital D and YY to yank the line. And let's look at the registers again. And I see register D holds these two lines. So you see this new line in between those two lines. And let's collect one more line just for the, for the sake of it. Let's use the ready to ship thing. So target the D register with a capital D again with quotation mark capital D yank. And let's say we wanted to paste this here. So now let's just target the D thing again and paste. And we have all the three lines in one paste. So this workflow can also be pretty useful. There are of course other units of things you can copy, not just complete lines. You can do the whole paragraph or words or whatever you want. So you're not limited to lines here. That's just what I wanted to tell you, but my example just were whole line things here. So then there are also some read only registers that you can't actually write to. So let's look at them. Let's look, list the registers again here. And on the bottom after the A through Z registers here, there's this colon register and this always holds the last command. This percentage sign register holds the current file name and the hash sign holds the last file name. So you can utilize this in various ways. Maybe you need the last file name you were working on in, in your thing here and then you wanted to paste this. You target the hash register and paste this. So you have the file name. Maybe now use GF to navigate to this. Let's, let's jump back here to the other file. Let's uh, delete this. Or maybe you just wanted to document the last command you used. So you, you have some kind of code snippet here in your markdown and you just wanted to paste this. Maybe it was a complicated command and you could just paste the command here by targeting the colon register and paste this here. This could also be, have been a little bit of a more complicated command, just like, I don't know, echo. And you did want to type this very nice, uh, text out here again. Oh, and I should have put this in quotation marks, by the way. And what I also wanted to show you just now, you could also use these registers. So let's paste this line we just had the last echo command I just put in inside the command line here again. But now I'm going to stay in insert mode because you can also target or paste registers directly from insert mode. If you press control R and then the register thing, you, you see the quotation marks just appeared, which indicates that you want to use a register here. And if I now press the colon, you get the actual contents of the register here pasted. So that's another way to use this. Of course, you could have used or targeted any other registers. So if I'm inside insert mode here, I press control R and A and I get the contents of the register A here or control R and D, we get these three lines. So this can also be useful if you don't want to switch back and forth between insert mode and command mode. This also should work inside the command line mode, by the way. So if for whatever reason, I just wanted to echo this line I had in register A, I could just type this and press control R and A, and then I would echo out this line here. Yeah, and I guess since we inserted some text here right now, we also should have another register, the dot register. Dot register just has the last thing you inserted into a document. So now we inserted this whole thing here. Let's maybe insert something smaller again, go into insert mode and say, this is our last insert here. And now if we look at the register with the dot, you see the last insert you made here. So you can paste this as well if you need it. There are some more intricacies you can go into. You can link the system clipboard to a specific register, for example. And if you want to find out more about that, you can, of course, use the help for registers. And there are all the registers there are listed and what they do. And 
like the unnamed register we talked about, the numbered registers, what they do, and the named registers, the read-only registers we talked about, and the mysterious black hole register also. So if you want to look more into that, I encourage you to, as always, look into the help file. So I hope you had a little bit of fun. Please like the video. If you're watching this in the first few days after the release of this video, please also hype the video. I think you can only hype for the first seven days. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. Join the channel memberships if it sounds interesting to you. Or support me on GitHub sponsors or Ko-fi. I'll be back tomorrow. I hope you will be too. See you around and take care.